This raid is so fun, but it's crazy. I'm, we're dead. Great. Bye. I think it's the snakes. Okay, let's play frog or good this time. All right, this raid is so fun, but it's crazy hectic. Okay, here we go. 10%. We got it this time. Rinse and repeat. Don't die. 3%. No one die. Oh, she's going to teleport. You run, run, run. Oh, oh, we just, oh, no. No. GG. Mommy's peeking out the door. Okay, this is it. We got this. Come on. Don't stand in red circles. Come on, team. 2%. 1%. Yeah, GG. We got... Wait. No, 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 no. Bastet. No. This is why. No. Oh, we're so distracted. No. Oh, no. This is why. This is why you don't bring... Oh, oh wait. I can just run in. Oh, no. Too late. Great. No Bastet this time. You ain't stealing a shield this time. Just... All right. 8%. One, oh, there's no way, there's no way we're not being it. Today, January 26, 2023, we got a new update. It's a new raid, Twisted Marsh. Our mommy, Kalaya, is here, and this video is going to show you how to beat it, who to bring, what to watch out for, and man, was this raid fun. If you like my video and like all my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, mommy. Tip of the day, seeing as you need 397,000 power level to get the bonus in the new Twisted Marsh raid, I'm going to give you an amazing tip <laughs> giggity, that will help you improve your power level. Hell, I'm going to give you a lot of tips. Giggity. First off, you got to know where your power level is coming from. There's a lot of small little things that add up, but the three biggest things are your runes, your skills, and its natural star level. Also, a couple things to note. Some stats give better power level than others. Defense gives more than crit damage, for example. So if you're just trying to beat a power level to get into a raid, all you really need to do, increase your main stats. Attack, defense, and HP. Other stats help too, but these three are the most. Then in non-Sky Arena fashion, your runes in slot 1, 3, and 5. Typically, you don't want to max them to 15, but if you're trying to beat a power level score, then max it to 15. Going from 12 to 15 gives an increase over 1,000. Throw some effect stones and some spell books on your runes. Doesn't matter if they're lower quality or not. It increases the power level. Make sure they're natural 5-star units. Make sure they're max skilled. And then on your summoner, make sure to have your best weapon equipped going into the raid. Make sure every weapon that you have has gems if it has the slots, has spell effects, has effect stones, and make sure every single accessory and sub weapon has either gems equipped if it has the ability to, and also effect stones as well. But the main increase for me to get into this raid with the bonus was literally maxing out the slot 1, 3, and 5. 1, 3, 5. The more you know. All right, I'm going to make this as simple as possible for mommy. You need a healer that can cleanse. You need to dodge the boss's abilities. You need to know how to play Frogger by going back and forth dodging snakes. And don't stand in red circles. And then stack on petrified units. I'll show you shortly. Also, you don't really want to bring too many buffs. You want to limit the buffs you bring because she steals them. And that's it. It's really a simple raid. It's definitely the most fun raid in this game, but it's got a small difficulty to it, which makes it fun. I really don't want to talk about the monsters that you can bring. I'll give some examples, but I really don't want to because there's a lot of monsters that aren't the meta that you can bring into this and still do amazing. I'll show you what I mean in a minute because I guarantee you probably nobody uses my team. But you know, there's Lulu, there's Praha, there's Annabelle. And also Shushu. These are all great cleansers slash healers. You want to limit the buffs you bring. You can bring some buffs. We even used Bastet. But you need to make sure that you have a dedicated buff stealer or a stripper. Damage dealers wise you can pretty much bring anything. A lot of people are scared about the boss transferring the debuffs to your allies. But it's something that you really don't need to worry about. I was using Wind Orbia and we had a Helia on the team and there was no issue at all. 
All right, so shout out to my two new friends, Noxile and Kiwa. I have no clue if I pronounced that right. These are my two new friends that I ran this with. Took us about five or six times just to get used to the mechanics and bringing the right monsters, but we got it done. But the team I entered with was just for getting the bonus. You need 397,200 power level to get the bonus. What I highly recommend for you to bring, no matter what summoner you bring. For monsters, I would bring two damage dealers and one support cleanser. In my instance, I'm bringing Bulldozer and Karambit. Nobody uses my monsters, come on. I'm using Lulu for the heal cleanse. My Kina is bringing Annabelle, Sekhmet, and Theomars. My Cleef is bringing Argon and Helia. Cleef is using water mainly for the attack down. Kina is using fire. I'm using wind as Orbia. So at the start of the match, the really only thing you have to look out for is the circles that come up here. It's a big inner circle and there's two outer rings. So once you dodge the middle circle and it goes off, then you completely go back in. So you just damage the boss after that until he goes and teleports to the middle and then the snake phase is happening. Do not get hit by the snakes. You just go back and forth. Make sure your monster AI is on follow. Sometimes even on follow, the monsters are still dumb and they don't follow you. They go on some weird little angle and it's stupid. Make sure after the snake phase that all your monsters get topped off so that the 65% HP damage hit right there, which is fixed, does not kill you. But after that, you just heal up and just do as much damage as you boss as you can. And really all that's going to happen after the snake phase is the big inner circle again. You just come out and jump back in and just do as much damage as you can. As you see here, the debuffs, I mean, we have frostbite, defense, break, attack, speed, slow. We have damage taken up, attack, down. The debuffs that you bring really does not matter. People don't have to be scared that she transfers debuffs. But we are doing as much damage as we can. Hi, Josie. If you see the boss doing this effect, this is the big hit AoE. You need to have your monsters at least above 70% health and have your healers cleansers ready to heal after this spell goes off. So as you can see, she'll do the big AoE hit. I switch to my cleanser and heal. So does the other teammates and we're at back at full. Once your soul link talent is back up, then you can switch back to your damage dealer for your soul link. But in this early phase, after she does that AoE hit, it's usually the snake phase. Just make sure to dodge the snakes. It's Frogger. Don't cross the street if there's a truck coming. Now she uses a spell called Forbidden Spell. When you see this, you want to stack on everyone because she will petrify people. And then she'll do an AoE on a petrified unit. Everyone needs to stack on that to mitigate the damage throughout the teams. And after this spell goes off, you want to be on your healer so that you can heal the damage up right after. After all the teammates are out of Petrify, you then want to kite the boss as far away as possible and wait for that AoE tail swipe. And then after he does that, he will go back to the regular phase. I don't know why I'm saying he, it's mommy. But she'll go back to her normal form. And you just DPS again, get out of the inner circle, go back in after that big inner circle has exploded, do more damage, and then she will disappear. What you need to do is just see where the big red flame is in which doorway it's in. You can literally look at two doors and if you see the flame come up, that's where she's coming out of. Again, rinse and repeat. It's not really a race. She does more damage later, but really it's just paying attention to mechanics. As you can see in later in the fight, when she teleports to the middle for the snake phase, she'll start doing these red circles, which is a move speed down. This is crucial to get rid of, but make sure to get in a nice safe spot so you can cleanse, get the move speed away, and start dodging the trucks crossing the street while you're playing Frogger. Once that phase is done, you just go back, rinse, and repeat. Now, when mommy gets to a certain health threshold, she will stop summoning snakes. She'll still put down the red move speed slow circles on the ground, but she will stop doing the snakes and she'll start teleporting to where your team is 
and you just really need to watch out for the move speed debuffs. You got to get out of the big inner circle, go back in, and just damage. This is where the damage race comes in, and you really got to pay attention to what you need to do. And really, it's just dodging in and out of the circles, healing up your team after the AoE hit, and just making sure that you just rinse and repeat, don't stand in red stuff. If one of your monsters die, it's not the end of the world. You can switch out your monsters. You'll be okay. If there's ever a circumstance when mommy teleports on you and it's in a bad location, you can just walk as far away as possible from those inner circles. You don't want to get hit from them, you'll probably die. You really want to try to keep her in the middle of the map. It's really hard to do at this point because you're dodging a lot of stuff too. But as you see here, like she will teleport to the middle after she screwed us on that positioning there. And I actually get caught on that outer ring. So you, you just really got to be careful. But you just got to, you know, make sure to heal it up. Uh, I probably should have switched to my Lulu here, but I was just, we, this was like the six attempts so we were just trying to kill it off. But my bulldozer ended up dying from damage over time. And at this point, at 9% health, I could have probably swapped out to a secondary monster, but I, I didn't want to. Um, because I just wanted to focus on the raid mechanic. I literally just made sure I stayed on Lulu and just make sure my team was at full and fully cleansed. This is a very fun raid. I, I really enjoyed it. I felt like I was playing World of Warcraft again. It's, it was crazy. But Mommy is down like she should be. Giggity. I mean, we had an Argon Helia. We had a Sekhmet Theomars. And not the gloat, my boys. I'm just saying. My Fire Frank and Karambit tore it up in the damage meter. Here are my stats on Bulldozer. It's nothing crazy at all. I've seen Bulldozers that are actually better than mine. But roughly 3150 defense, 92.6 crit, 158 crit damage. My Karambit's roughly 3550 attack, 210 attack speed, 84.8 crit, and 137 crit damage. The crit damage and attack are low, but he still puts out a ton of damage. Because it's all about that attack speed and the precision, which is at 123. In my opinion, if you're trying to go for big burst, you want to put that burst damage dealer on your soul link. And if you're bringing a second damage dealer, attack speed monsters are the way to go in my opinion. Because their skills are on cooldown, right? You just want long periods of great damage dealing. Or ramp up monsters like it takes a little bit for them to get going, kind of like Karambit and his attack speed. He buffs his own attack speed. And the more attack speed he has, the better. My Lulu, which is max skilled. Lulu's not max awakened. But Lulu did the job. 48,000 health, roughly 2,600 defense. That's all I really cared about with Lulu. The more HP Lulu has, the bigger the AoE heal. Same with the single target heal as well. But yeah, those were my stats. Nothing too crazy at all. This is a free to play. Anybody can get these stats. And that's today's video. Just want to explain how to beat it. Very simple mechanics. Gets a little hectic at the end, but you got it, no problem. Like this video, like all my content. Sub, like, ding, ding, bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.